Hey there. Hey. It's Christmas Eve Eve night. And I want you to listen. Can you hear it? Silence. Silence. Silent night. Holy night. Oh, it's so exciting. Every Christmas I think about those kids in the field, the shepherds. They were probably kids. And those angels came to them. I mean, they probably, they were in complete darkness. They probably only heard the sound of sheep. And then this blinding light of a chorus of angels and telling them to go see for themselves the great news. The Savior is born. Oh my gosh. I just, I just want to talk to those kids. <laughs> and they, they went to see for themselves. That's my, my favorite part. They didn't take anyone else's word for them. They went to see for themselves and they probably risked something to do that. Maybe a beaten, I don't know, because they left their posts they, and they went to see. It was so exciting. You know, when I get to heaven, there's probably going to be a long line for St. Paul and John the Baptist. And, you know, I want to talk to these kids. I want to, I want to hear it blow by blow. What an exciting night. You know it stayed with them for the rest of their lives. I want to know how many people they told. What'd you say? What'd you see? Gosh. Shepherds quake at the sight. Heavenly hosts singing Alleluia. What is that like? I just want to know. And we can know. I just pray that and let's make this our Friday prayer focus or whatever day you're watching this that our prayer focus would be that we would be so so overtaken by the good news of our Savior that we just want to go and tell everybody that we would quake at the sight and just it would be news that never leaves us January through December, not just for these couple days. I love you guys so dearly. And I wish you the merriest of Christmases. I got a fire going behind me and I, uh, there it is. I was on the wrong side of it. <laughs> Maybe you can hear that. But I hope you mostly hear silence, that we can all spend some time in silence and just um, just dwell on the good news of what's happening, what we're remembering that happened these many years ago on that silent night where those shepherds were surprised and their lives changed. Just pray our lives change to this season. I pray they change a little bit every day. I love you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas.